NATO countries begin largest war game in Eastern Europe since Cold War. 10-day military exercise, Anaconda 2016, will involve 31,000 troops and thousands of vehicles from 24 countries. The largest war game in Eastern Europe since the end of the Cold War has started in Poland, as NATO and partner countries seek to mount a display of strength as a response to concerns about Russia's assertiveness and actions. The 10-day military exercise, involving 31,000 troops and thousands of vehicles from 24 countries, has been welcomed among NATO's allies in the region, though defense experts warn that any mishap could prompt an offensive reaction from Moscow. A defense attaché at a European embassy in Warsaw said the nightmare scenario of the exercise, named Anaconda 201, Six would be a mishap, a miscalculation which the Russians construe, or choose to construe, as an offensive action. Russian jets routinely breach Nordic countries' airspace and in April they spectacularly bust the US Donald Cook in the Baltic Sea. The exercise, which US and Polish officials formally launched near Warsaw, is billed as a test of cooperation between Allied commands and troops in responding to military, chemical and cyber threats. It represents the biggest movement of foreign Allied troops in Poland in peacetime, for the first time since the Nazi invasion of Soviet-occupied Poland began on the 22nd of June 1941, German tanks will cross the country from west to east. Managed by Poland's LT Gen Marek Tomaszewski, the exercise includes 14,000 US troops, 12,000 Polish troops, 800 from Britain and others from non-NATO countries. Multinational operations publicized so far include an airdrop involving 1,130 parachutists over the northern Polish city of Foran on Tuesday, including 500 US troops and 230 British ones, engineers building a bridge to carry 300 vehicles over the Vistula River in a nighttime assault involving 35 helicopters. Marcin Zaborowski, a Polish defense analyst at the Center for European Policy Analysis in Warsaw, said, In Poland we see the exercise as a reassurance measure from the US and NATO. The defense needs of Central and Eastern Europe are real. The scope and numbers of Anaconda are no match for the Russian exercises that go on all the time just across the border. The exercise comes at a sensitive time for Poland's military, following the sacking or forced retirement of a quarter of the country's generals since the nationalist law and justice government came to power in October last year. So harsh have the cuts to the top brass been that the Polish armed forces recently found themselves unable to provide a general for NATO's multinational command center at Kachin. Russia is more dangerous than ISIS says Polish Foreign Minister. Read more. Insider say morale has fallen to an all-time low since the appointment of Antony Macierowicz as Defense Minister. Professional soldiers are particularly worried about a lack of clarity surrounding the creation and role of the 17 Brigade Territorial Army, drawn in part from the 35,000 members of Poland's gun clubs and paramilitary groups, some of which, it is feared, are linked to the country's racist football hooligans. Two of the volunteer brigades are set to assist the professional Polish army during Anaconda. The Guardian understands from military sources that there has been little consultation over politicians' long-term vision for the volunteers, described last week by the plenipotentiary minister Gregor Skwarzniak as a fifth force after land, sea, air and special forces. A Western defense expert confirmed that there was concern about government interference in Poland's military. Poland is highly regarded internationally. In the past 15 years, they spent a lot of money and created one of the best armies in the region. They made big sacrifices in Afghanistan. They lost 40 soldiers. It is not clear what the government thinks it needs to improve, he said.